and we're going to start off with three lightning talks this morning. First up, our first speaker this morning has been using WordPress since version 2.0. He's now an active member of the UK WordPress community and has co-founded the WordPress agency High Rise Digital. Please welcome Mark Wilkinson. Uh, morning, thanks for the welcome. So I'm here today to talk to you about uh, creating and running a WordPress mentorship uh, program, which is something that Harris Digital, myself and Keith Devon, who's over there, is uh, we've set up and started to run. And I just wanted to share our experience of how it's gone, what we've learnt, and hopefully what we can offer maybe some of you. So a quick about me, uh, I'm a WordPress developer, I've set up uh, High Rise Digital with, with Keith. Uh, I'm a former teacher as well, I taught for 12 years in a secondary school, so I've kind of got a bit of mentorship and uh, training sort of knowledge as well. Um, so that's just a bit about me. So what we're going to look at in this talk, so we're going to look at um, what actually is our mentorship program, uh, why did we set it up, um, how did we go about getting it set up and getting started. Um, running the program itself, the day-to-day -day sort of running it, how does it actually work? And we're going to look a bit about the future, what we intend to or hopefully are going to try and do with it in the coming weeks and months. So that's kind of the, the, the plan that we're going to look at today. So let's start off with the, you know, what is it and, and why did we set it up? So as, as Hannah said, I've been using WordPress for, since, you know, uh, 2006, I think it was, a long time ago. And I've had so much help from the community Visiting WordCamps, local meetups, whether that's been you know support, whether that's been using people's plugins that they've contributed to open source, so much help. Um, and we wanted just to give something back, really, and decided you know what could we do to help others. And yes, we do release some code that people can use, uh, and we can help out where we can. But we wanted to do something that we thought would be useful for others uh, and give something back. So. We thought we'd quite like to do some mentorship, something we've done in the past. Obviously, I have got experience with it, and we thought that we'd try and do something to help others uh, in the community. When we started sort of back then, we, we just thought of the question, we thought we'd, we'd have loved someone just to ask questions to. You know, all the things that we didn't know at the time that we wanted to just ask someone, like, what about this, what about this? So we thought maybe we could be that person for other people in the WordPress community that you know they could just ask us questions about the experiences we've had. We might not have all the answers, of course, but obviously we could give them the experience that we've 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 had. So we came up with the idea that we'd actually run this mentorship uh, and we'd see how it goes. Sorry, the laptop's got a bit of a weird scroll. <laughs> Next, there we go. So how do we go about setting this up? We've got the idea, we wanted to mentor people, how do we actually go about setting up? <clears throat> so we thought one of the things we really want to do is have a face-to-face -face meeting with people. You could do things by email or like forums or something, but we really wanted to have a face-to-face -face mentorship so that people could actually see us, talk to us and ask us questions. So the obvious solution for that would be something like a hangout. Uh, where we can do like a, a hangout with a group of people, they can get into it, they can ask questions, get some discussion going, and we can try and give them the answers. So we thought Google Hangouts or some sort of um, you know video call would be a really good way to do this. Um, <clears throat> then we had to sort of get some attendees. Um, so we created a landing page on our website, really simple, and we basically tweeted out and put some posts on Facebook, and it kind of got some traction really, and we got some people sort of filling in the form and saying, yeah, we're really interested in this, uh, and we ended up with a list of people who were potentially you know, suitable for the programme. So we didn't really put a lot of effort into getting people, which was interesting. <clears throat> so as I said, we quickly got uh, a few people, um, and then we obviously had to, to filter that down. We decided that about six or seven people for each... Uh, like what we, I don't know whether you call it a course or not, but for each sort of round of mentorship would be the right number. Too many, and we wouldn't really be able to offer everyone some advice. It would be too short, and obviously too few, you wouldn't get enough discussion in the room. So we decided that six people was probably the right, the right amount, and we tried to, to whittle down our list to sort of uh, the best six people we could in terms of what we think we could give them and what they get out of it. So... That's how we set things up. We've got our, our mentees now for this first round of mentorship, and we obviously went about running this, uh, this program. So we set up a Slack community, like you do these days. Everyone seems to do that. It was a really good way, though, of getting some discussion between the mentees about what they wanted help with and how they wanted uh, us to help them. 
we decided that we'd have a weekly hangout. So we calendared in a weekly hangout. I think it was Thursday at 11 a.m. we decided to go for. It matched with everyone's calendars. And we held a weekly hangout where we all jumped on a call. Uh, and each mentee got a chance to ask questions. So they got like a six or seven minute slot in the hour that we tried to keep it to. It usually ran over to an hour though. But we, we tried to keep it to, to an hour. And they asked the questions, it got some really good discussion. And what we found is it wasn't actually just uh, myself and Keith giving like, the, the, the advice, it was everybody. Everybody chipped in with things they knew, and it became a really good discussion uh, and a really good place. And actually, it was really enjoyable. <clears throat> so that was uh, how we sort of run the thing. So it went really well. Um, but what have we learned? So there's a few things that we... Now we're on the second round of uh, mentorship that we do slightly differently. So I just thought I'd share what we've learned about it. So the first one was making sure that you get the right people. So by that, I mean the right people that you can actually help the best you can. So for us, it was we didn't really think that we could help people that were just sort of on the very first steps to WordPress. So they were sort of installing WordPress for the first time and doing that sort of thing. We thought that's not really where we can provide value. So just the lesson that we learned was making sure that the people that you're actually getting onto the mentorship are at that right stage of their development in terms of being a WordPress developer or WordPress designer or whatever, so that you can actually provide some value. And I think we've, we've, we've done that quite well with the people we've got. I think there's some other things we could do and we've learned for which we'll move on and try and do that better in the future. We also found that a weekly hangout was just too much. It didn't actually work very well. There were some weeks where um, the mentees and, and, and us as well were just had a busy week and you didn't really have time to sort of develop your thoughts for that, that, men, that, that, that call. So we decided that we'd do a bi-weekly one for the second uh, group and that's worked much better. It's given the chance for the mentees for in the middle, in the, in the middle between those calls to have a chat on the Slack channel, think about what they want to, to ask. Uh, develop some problems that they might have in those two weeks, and then it gives them the time to sort of get that uh, in play, and so they can uh, they can ask for those things. It was just too quick for it was a week, and people weren't having enough things to to discuss. Um, and then the other thing I'd say is what we learned is just kind of you come into these things with perhaps a vision in your mind, but actually. You know, just let it flow, because actually just letting it become what it becomes is actually something really good. Um, and finally, what we learned is it is so much fun. It's absolutely brilliant. It's the highlight of our week is a mentorship call. You know, we spend an hour on a Thursday, and it's just really good fun chatting about WordPress, helping others out, you know, really good fun. So if, you, um, if you're ever thinking about either offering mentorship or obviously wanting to be a mentee, then I'd highly recommend it. It's such good fun. So these are just some quotes from a couple of the people that we've had on the mentorship uh, program, and, and they've obviously really enjoyed it. I think we've got at least one, two, three in the room. <laughs> um, so they, they, you know they, they've taken part in it, and I think this quote was was like really really impressed me. I was like, you know, my confidence in the abilities is is, is improved, and I think that was you know really made me proud. Cause it's like. And a lot of people have said that. It's not that you actually provide the solutions to everything for them, but the fact that they've gained confidence in being able to do the things that they want to do. You know, that was really good for me. So these are four of our, um, not current mentees, but they're, they're all taken part in the program. They're here at the WordPress London, at WordCamp London. As I said, there's three of them in the room now. So if you want to know anything about this, this our mentorship program, or you want to know anything about what it's like being a mentee, um, and if you want to know what it's like being a mentor, then come and speak to myself, to Keith, or to any of these, these people. Um, so there's um, uh, Luminous, there's Michael, there's Eugene, there's Angie. There's also Matthew Pollard here as well. I apologise, I didn't get his picture on the slide, but he's also at WordCamp London. So if you want to know anything about them, then please you know, ask them all about it. Hopefully, they'll say good things. So what about the future then? So as I said... We're going to run a next round of uh, mentorship. I think we're about halfway through the current one at the moment. We do it for uh, a 10-week uh, period, um, which is obviously over by week, so it's ended up as 20 weeks. Um, so for the future, um, we've got some other plans. We've got some plans to obviously make the current one better as well. Um, but what we thought we might be able to do is offer sort of um, partnering other mentees with other mentors if everyone wants to get involved. 
So if you want to know more about what our plans are or you actually want to get on the next round of mentorship if you think you need some help, then if you go to the website that's on the screen, that's wpmentor.me, and there's a little sign-up form there. Um, fill it in and we'll, we'll get in touch uh, with what we've, been, what, we've, what we've got planned. And that's me. So I'm WP Mark on Twitter. We're at highrise.digital. And uh, I think we're going to leave questions to the end. So I'll uh, <laughs> leave that on. Thank you.